Long before Europeans arrived in North America, various Native Americans called this continent home. Historians and archaeologists disagree on the size of the native population, but estimates range from a low of about 2 million to a high of 18 million. The full richness and diversity of Native American culture in North America goes well beyond the scope of this lecture, but we will cover a few well-established facts. The northeastern region of the United States was home to many tribes that belonged to one of two main language groups, the Iroquois and the Algonquin. The Iroquois are often remembered for the five-tribe alliance known as the Iroquois Confederacy, which included the Mohawk, Onondaga, Oneida, Cayuga, and Seneca tribes. The southeastern United States was home to tribes such as the Cherokee, Choctaw, Seminole, Creek, and a few others. The Midwest was home to the largely nomadic Plains tribes, including the Sioux, Kiowa, Comanche, Pawnee, and Cheyenne, among many others. And in the Southwest, we find the desert tribes of the Apache, Navajo, and Pueblo people. Although there were unique characteristics of each tribe, many tribes did share some basic similarities. One thing is that all tribes experienced a drastic reduction in population after the arrival of Europeans. By 1800, there were only 600,000 Native Americans left in North America, and by 1890, there were about 250,000. Warfare certainly played a part in this population decline, but a bigger part of it was the introduction of infectious diseases that many Native Americans did not have a resistance to. Many Native Americans were nomadic hunter-gatherers, but they also practiced large-scale farming and there is much evidence that they engaged in trade and even built large cities. There was no established official religion for Native Americans, however they were largely animistic in nature and after the arrival of European missionaries, many tribes adopted or blended Christian teachings into their religious practices. Native American society was structured very differently than European society and certainly played a major part in the often antagonistic relationship between the two. One important difference is the view of land ownership. Native Americans called certain areas their homes, but the idea that one person could claim a parcel of land as his or her own was alien to them. Many Native Americans viewed land as something that was communally held by members of the tribe. Another major difference was differing views on political structure. Many Native Americans did not view political leadership the way that Europeans did. While Europeans were used to an organized political state, most native political structures were very disorganized. One tribal chief did not speak for an entire tribe the way that a monarch or a president may speak for his or her country. Although there were major tribes, they often lived in smaller bands and did not feel obligated to follow a treaty that some other chief had signed. These differences contributed to some tense relations with Europeans and later on Americans.